ke mi pas një humorist angles që tha mirë mëngjes, mirë dita dhe mirë mbrama. Që që në fripën e ti, ju uroj mirë se kemi azur, në këtë kohë që të bëqant, ku kemi një të fëtuar nga glia për të folur bi temen, a të qojnë të gjithë rrugët të gëzotit. Besoj që mund të keni të gjuar, javën e kaluar që papa duke vizituar Lindja ka bërë një prononcim që nuk ka rënsi cilën feh ti beson. Rënsi ka që ti të besosh dhe do të shkosh në parajs. Edhe sot do të shërtojmë a është të vërtet kjo apo jo. A të qojnë të gjithë fet të gëzoti? A mund të shkosh të këpërëndie si që do ti? Edhe, pa humbur ko, do të fëtoj Paul. Welcome. Please come and join us. Good, thank you for coming this evening. It's, there's nowhere better that you could be than here tonight. I hope that you traveled here okay. I understand that they're digging up the roads around here. The roads are rather rocky. <laughs> But you've got here safely. But we're here to think about a more important road. And a, a more important destination. The question for us to consider tonight is do all roads lead to God? And to begin with, we're going to read a portion of God's Word from the Bible. I'm going to read from John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. Zemra juaj mos u trondit, dhe soni në perendin dhe pasoni në mua. Në shtëpina ati ti, ka shumë banesa, Për ndryshe do që ju thoja, po shkoj që ju përgatis një vend. Dhe kur të shkoj që ju përgatis një vend, do të kthehen për sëri dhe do që ju marë për anëmeje, që aty ku jam unë, të jeni edhe ju. Ju e dini se ku po shkoj, dhe e njëhti edhe uzën. Tho ma i tha, zotë ne nuk e dim se ku po shkojnë, pra si mund të njohim uzën. Jezus i e sa, unë jam uldha e vërteta dhe jeta, asë kush nuk vjen të këtë ati, përveç në përmjet me je. Pope Francis spoke at a recent youth interreligious event. Ishte një konferens rinore për të rrit e të gjitha fedhe dhe papa ishte duke folur me të rrit. And this is what he said. If we always say, my religion is more important than yours, or my religion is true and yours is not, oh, where will that lead us? Every religion is a path toward God është një uzë për të këzotin. Who is the creator and father of all. I cili është kryuë si dhe ati i të gjithë dhe. And there are many people who would agree with the Pope. Dhe shumë njërës do bini në akord me papën. Just as there are many routes you could take to Tirana. Ashtu si kur se mund të marësh disa rrugë për në Tiranë. There are many paths to God. Ka shumë uzë, si pas njërës dhe, të këzotin. And this is called universalism. Kjo njëfet me emrin universalizëm. It doesn't matter your religion, you'll get to God in the end. Nuk ka rënësi se qa feje ke, do të shkosh të gëzoti, do të arrish atje në fund. 
It's a very attractive way of thinking about religion. We want to avoid offending other people. We want to focus on what enables us to get on together in life. But is it true? Does it matter what we believe? The importance of thinking about this question is this. All roads ultimately come to an end. And we must be careful not to assume that we're going to reach the destination safely. So do all roads, all religions lead to God? I've got two answers for you this evening. And my first answer is no. And there are two reasons why all these paths do not lead to God. Here's the first reason. There's only one destination. destination. If we're traveling, we need to know where we're going. I want you to imagine for a moment that you're traveling to a town. You've got a friend who lives in that town and you want to visit them. But it's a town that you've never visited before. You don't have a map. Look at your heart. And so you've got to follow the road sign. She should do it in Diekish, Tabela Tarugas. But I want you to imagine that the night before, or imagine on me, ni not my par, that some prankster changed all the names on the signs to the name of that town. Ni shakaji chaban, and rishon to jisa tabelet, as a to jisa tabelet can emne to ni ti chute. So Vlora is now the name of that town. For example, Tajisa Tabelet Kanem Vlora. And Korcha has the same name. Ruke Korcha's Vlora. And Elbasan. Doskost Elbasan Vlora. And Tirana. Doskost Tiran Vlora. And Fear. Fear Vlora. Where are you going to end up? Can you kudoskosh, kudo perfundosh? How are you going to follow the signs? Simon Tendiekus Tabelet. You're never going to reach. Your destination. It looks like everything is the town. But none of them really are. And this is exactly what the universalist does. He renames everything as God. And so we never end up knowing who he is. Never going to get where you intend to go. Who is the God that we are being led to? Is he a god among many gods, like Hinduism? Is he one god with one person, like the Muslims or the Jews believe? Or is he one god in three persons, like the Christians believe? Are they all the same God? Surely not. Yeah. Only one of those concepts can be true. And these questions prove the point. It's impossible for all religions to lead to God. They all have different ideas of who God is. There can only be one true God. 
So who is that God? How do we know that we found the real one? Well, let me go back to my illustration. How do you know that you have found the real town to visit your friends? Well, of course, you'll find your friend there. You'll be able to go out with them and speak with them. And so it is with the living God. The true God is a God who we meet, who speaks to us, who acts. And this is the God who has been revealed through Jesus Christ. We read this earlier in the passage in John chapter 14. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We might well ask, well, is Jesus just another religious leader? Is it another dead-end road of religion? Not so, because he reveals the God who speaks and acts. Jesus fulfilled all the promises that God had made in the Old Testament of the Bible. He proved that the God of the Bible had spoken truth. And more than that, he acted to accomplish God's plan of salvation. And he fulfilled that in his death and resurrection. Jesus said that he was going to die and rise again. And that's exactly what he did. The fact of the resurrection of Jesus proves that the God of the Bible is true. He is the triune, living and true God. He is the true and only destination. And if you want to know more about who God truly is, you need to read the Bible. There is only one destination. But here's the second reason. There's only one way. How are we going to reach this living God? How can we enter his presence with the hope of eternal life? That's the question that religion wants to answer. The reason why we as human beings want to be religious is because we know that we need some way to get to God. We understand that naturally we are not in a good relationship with God. There's the problem of sin. We break God's law. We make our own path, which leads us away from God. And so we need some way of being brought back to God. And sometimes we perhaps get bewildered by all the many religions that there are. And 
And as well as that, there are many different forms of Christianity. As a Yovitam Kachpur Nadim Sekashum forma e Christorimit. So which one is right? Which direction should we go in? Well, let me simplify it for you. There are only two roads, two ways to try to reach God. And only one of them gets you there. Here's the first road. We can call it the road of works. The idea of this way is to make up for wrong things by doing right things. We try to live a, a good life that pleases God. And we hope that when we meet God, it'll be good enough for her. That idea, I suggest to you, sums up almost all religions. You need to be a good Muslim. You need to be a good Hindu. You need to be a good Roman Catholic. You need to be a good Orthodox Christian. Many differences between those religions. But in essence, they are all the same. You need to build your own road to God. Live a good life and gain God's favor. But it's a road that never reaches God. The Bible tells us that there is none who does good. No, not one. You see, the problem is that God requires a road of righteousness to reach him. God cannot allow any sin into his presence, into his heaven. So your road has to be absolutely perfect in every way. There's no bends in the road. There's no potholes in the road. But the problem is, we've all got potholes in our roads. We're all broken. We're all sinful. Which means that the road of works never reaches heaven. On our own merits, no one is fit for heaven. The road of good works is a dead end. And it leads to eternal death. But there's another road. We can call this road the road of faith. The the one who travels this road realizes that we can't do it ourselves. Our righteousness is not enough. We need someone else to build a perfect road for us. A road that will perfectly bring us into the presence of God. And Jesus is that road. Listen to what Jesus says in this verse. I am the way. He offers to build that road for us. He is the only one 
who is able to deal with the problem of sin. He's the only one who can gift us perfect righteousness. Jesus in his life, he never sinned. Not even once. But he didn't do that for himself. He did it for all who would put their faith in him. And more than that, he went to the cross. And he died to pay the penalty. For all the sins of those who would place their faith in him. So you see, the person who has faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, they reject their own rubbish robes. And they trust in the road of Christ. You see, through the cross, Jesus has dug this road to God Perfectly. And by trusting in him, we know all of our sins taken away. And we are made righteous in the sight of God. There is no other path that leads to God. It is exclusively found in Jesus and faith in him alone. And let me warn you against some deception. Because there are some people who would say, oh yes, you do need Jesus. But you need to do your best efforts as well. Let, let Jesus come onto your road and fill in a few potholes. But it's still your road. There are many so-called Christians who would tell you that. It's Jesus plus you. But that's not what Jesus says here. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It is Jesus alone. It is all of him. He's done the work of salvation. You simply need to rest yourself in him. That requires humility. You've got to give up all the hard work you put into your road. But it brings such wonderful assurance. Because his road truly is perfect in every way. And so here is my first answer to the question. Do all religions, all roads lead to God? No. Yeah. Jesus alone. Well, what then of my second answer to the question? My second answer is yes. All roads do lead to God. This is to think about the question in a different way. Jesus says this in verse 3 of John 14. I will come again. He's referring to the day when he comes to judge the world. And we'll find that on that day, 
No matter what religion we've we've lived by in this world. No karan si sech far feye kemi in die kor nuk to bot. Even if you've not believed in God at all. Ev is kor to mos kesh besuar ne perandim fare. You will meet with him. Daughter ta ko hashmete. All religions lead to the judgment seat. Church is Jesus fate to join to take a jukimi i paradise. And the question then is the beauty as pastai what will your experience be when you meet him si do yet experience yo te kurta ta kohash me perandi whether you're an atheist or a regular church goer no se ti ateist apo yeni frequentuas i regul ti kishas you will stand before god ti do te chandrosh per val perandis and you will be asked why god should let you into his heaven as the beauty of do te strohet Say do it to to lay your each to who's the child. Everyone who's been been living by works will point to themselves. Or don't you need to carry it to her? No, all the never prevent or thought. But the thought, yeah, she come on. I say, I've been a good person. Come change your demeanor. I've done lots of religious things. Come burst on your effectare. God will say that is no path into my heaven. For thought, he don't have thought. For no cost, all the for the child. You think you're good. Timen don se yet mir. You think that your life is better than others. Timen don se yet a yotas ma mir se ta chiert. But I will measure your life by my law. O un dota mas yet an tande me ante ligit ti. And you fall short of my perfection. E the ti nuk arin dot per sos marin timen. No one has paid for your sins. As nearly no kapaguar per mokata to tua. And therefore you must pay for your sins. And I ti do it lash borgi. You have foolishly taken the road to hell. No manure to mar ti ke mar ozen efer. The road of works is a road of disaster. Oza efer preve as ni rug to to chon ni shkatri. But if on that day. You then say not a deed. Walking the road of faith. Ti kechen doke etsor na ulza na besine. God will welcome you into His presence. Zoti dota to mi opress to na praninity. He will find no sin outstanding against you. I nuk dota j as ni makacha chandron kunder teye. Because all has been paid for in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabse Jesus Christi ka large to Jesa. So where do you stand today? Tani kuchondron ti sot. And what will your experience be when you meet the Lord? The far experience do kesti kortie bal per bal mezoti. Who are you trusting in? Mustan ne kepo beson ti sot. Yourself? Vetia or in Jesus? Apo Jesus. Which road do you travel in? Natsilan uz po exanti. Is it the road of works? Uze ever preve? Or is it the road of faith? Apo uzen ebesine. Jesus alone is the way, the truth, and the life. Vetem Jesusi, ost ruga everteta leeta. Amen.